grade, we started our first recital, and we've been going ever since. Um, we have hip hop, modern dance, ballet. We're moving into contemporary. Um, we have hip hop. We started ages three to five. Um, I love all of my students, and I do. I try to teach technical stuff and not just moving your arms and moving your legs, but teach our young youth how to be performers. Also, a place for them to go to outside of just hanging on the streets and doing nothing. You know, they need a place to go. You know, I remember when I was young, I used to have rec centers to go to. There's not that many rec centers anymore. And then the ones that do have don't offer as much as when I was a kid. So, I wanted to create a place where they can go, have a place to call their home, and just perform and excel as a dancer and also as young women and young men. Um, so your your main objective is getting them off the street. That, is that it? Get them off the street. Also teach them how to be performers. I mean, because you know, performing actually teaches them how to be confident and add some personality and also have pride with themselves. You know, you know, when you learn something and you feel proud about it, it just takes you your personality and takes your characteristics up to another level. And you know, a lot of my students love me. I, I'm not saying to be arrogant, but they, you know, they look up to me and I, I look at myself as a role model. So I want them to have a place, a home to go to. Plus, also. Development is not just getting off the streets. You know, you come to learn. You got to learn to focus and learn how to pay attention and also have fun. <laughs> you know, a good place to have fun other than hanging on the corner. You know, so the, those are the two weeks, two ways objective here. You know, get you off the streets but also teach you something. Was it hard? Absolutely. I'm out of breath now. <laughs> um, it was very hard because, you know, it's a little discouraging at times because it, at first, you know, it's hard to get people to come off the streets, get people to really take a chance on me. I'm new to this area. I come from the PG County area. So once they saw what I could put out there on the stage and teach their children, then they started to come. So ever since then, you know, it, God has been a, a big, big help in this. Oh my goodness. You know, because we wouldn't be no one. You know, I come from a very religious background. something that's the two keys there so what happens after they get to the highest level that you teach them what do you once do once they get to the highest level i'm always looking for places for them to go we also do competitions so we try to go out and, and compete against other schools and studios and stuff like that so they, they they do go to the highest level but i'm always reaching for another level as you can see tonight um they're normally used to just doing technique i told them today forget the steps you need to tap into the emotion of that person like, you know they, i don't feel like they're ever a highest level yes you're the highest level in our company but you'll never be the highest level in what I want you to learn. So, yeah, we have a level three and it stops at level three, but level three is always reaching for whatever. Yeah. I want How far did you go in dance when you... I'm actually self-taught. Um, I didn't actually go into professional company. That's what I wanted to do. I had kids at a younger age. Um, but I decided when I had my second child that I wasn't going to let that be a hindrance anymore, that I was going to do what I wanted to do and this is what I love to do. So we moved forward with it. How did you fall in love with dance then? If you didn't oh my gosh, I've been dancing since I was a kid. My father used to come home and was like, will you stop moving? Stop dancing around the house. So I've been in love with dancing. I could probably twirl. <laughs> so you you learned to dance on your own? Um, I learned to dance on my own. I also stopped. I went to, I learned my dance on recreational centers. I also went to a high school um, that focused had a dance company. So I learned about technique there. Then when I got older, I just bought DVDs and looked at professional dancers and watched ballets and, and paid attention to what they were doing. So a lot of my stuff is self so Um I like to say I have a natural talent. I just watch and see, and that's how we, how I do it. So um, are you getting any help from any agencies for your business? No, it's, it's one man show. I mean, my parents, oh, they're awesome. Anybody who registers, they always help me out as far as making sure the show goes perfectly and stuff like that. But as far as making sure that I get the business, um, make sure the company runs itself, you're looking at her. <laughs> so how do people get in touch with you? Um, I send out blast emails. I also put postcards out. Um, the email post, I mean, mailing postcards out. I also put signs around the area um, just so they can, you know, get, you know, that we're here. And um, for those basic marketing skills and word of mouth. And my students, oh my gosh, my parents and my students, they are true advocates. So you started out with how many? I started out with 13. And how many you have now? Um, now I average about 65 to 70 students. It fluctuates. So you have a lot of teaching help? I have uh, three instructors, two instructors right now. Mr. Carlos, which is our ballet instructor over there. <laughs> and um, I have another student that I actually taught for two for a year and a half. And I, she looks like you, she's like, I want to teach. I said, okay, we'll train under me for a year and I'll let you take a class. So this is the first class that she taught by herself. So back to this Inferno, why do you call your group Inferno? Um, 
it reminds me of fire. It reminds me of something bold and beautiful, you know. And that's why I named it that. I always was like, we're hot, you know. Even when I was talking to, when I was a young age, my, my, my coaches always say, y'all hot, crank it, work it out, make it flat, jump off the stage. And I look at fire that way. So I was like, Inferno. So it, that's how it came about. So what's your email address? My email address is Kanisha at InfernoFans.com. K-A-N-I-E-S-H-A at Inferno, N-F-E-R-N-O, dance.com. Thank you. Thank you.